really quickly, I just have to show you guys the cuteness that is Dutter's Cat Velasquez. Can you even, can you even deal with how cute he is? No, you can't. You can't. Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. If you've never been here before, welcome. I'm so happy <laughs> that we found each other. It took, it took too long, didn't it? It took way too long for us to, to finally be together. My name is Brittany. My channel name is pronounced Bratterstein. Comment down below. Let me know your name. Introduce yourself. It's just polite, right? That's just, that's just what you do. Hi, I'm Brittany. Hi, you are. Put it down below. Why do I have so many flyaways? What is happening? I know. Ignore my hair. It's all sorts of crazy right now, but I just got back from the gym and it's just... It can't be tamed. Today's video, as I'm sure you gathered from the title and the thumbnail, is one that I'm pretty excited to do, like all of them. I'm always excited to do them. <laughs> But this one in particular, I'm very excited to do for two, deuce, two reasons. Uh, one, uh, I love Makeup Geek and I'm glad that they are more in the limelight. I haven't had people talking about them as much in my life palette. Like the palette that I take with me everywhere to, to school, to work, to life, everywhere is primarily Makeup Geek shadows. So I'm happy that the light is on them right now. So I'm going to jump on that and do a full fall look using only Makeup Geek eyeshadows, which I'm super excited to do. And then the other reason I'm excited is because it's going to be a fall look. And even though it is literally 92 degrees in LA right now, <laughs> I know it's gross. Most people are gearing up for fall. And so they are actually getting fall weather and beautiful leaves and pumpkins and, you know, mass slasher serial killers. And I'm just sitting here melting in my room with the air conditioner turned off. So I'm living vicariously through you guys. And so I'm going to put makeup on that you can wear in your beautiful, nice, cold downs. If, unless you live in California, then you can, you can understand. You get it. I'm so sorry. It sucks for us. <laughs> oh yeah, so shitty. Living in the melting pot of, of the United States. Ugh. Anyways, that just went on a... I don't even know. I don't even know what I'm talking about. Before we get started, please make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I put out new videos every week, and once I hit a thousand subscribers, I'll be doing a giveaway on whatever's hot, and you'll have to be subscribed, so you might as well do it. It's free to you. It helps me out, so people know me out. Me out. Cat. <laughs> it helps people know I exist, which would be nice, because I've been doing this a, a, a while now. <laughs> and I think that's all I have to say. I think this intro is... What was that face? <laughs> I think this intro is long enough. So would you like to see me and do my makeup with my favorite Makeup Geek single eyeshadows? Would you like to see that? You want to do that? Let you die right now. If you would like to see me do a beautiful fall makeup look using only Makeup Geek eyeshadows, just keep on watching. I got my tea because I'm, tr I'm trying to get into the spirit that you guys are in with your beautiful fall weather. Okay, so the two palettes I'm going to be busting into are, well not that side because that's my colorful side is these shadows here and some of these shadows here. This is my life palette that I bring with me every place I go, which is mostly Makeup Geek shadows. And then these are my single shadows. A lot of Makeup Geek in here as well. So let's go ahead and get started with that. I'm going to interrupt your regularly scheduled, regularly scheduled programming to let you know that uh, the beginning of this might have had weird audio because I didn't wear my mic like an idiot, but I'm gonna try to fix it. But just in case I didn't fix it, I just wanted to give you this little announcement to let you know that now it is fixed and now it'll be better. Yeah. Why is it shaking so much? All right, so it's still shaking, so I'm just gonna fuck myself. All right, now that I got you real up close and personal, let's go ahead and get started on this eye look. I have no idea what I'm gonna do. I just know it's gonna be uh, gorgeous because of the tones and the colors, because all of these colors are gorgeous. <laughs> I'm gonna start with the shade here, which is Peach Smoothie by <laughs> Makeup Geek. I'm just gonna take this shade and dust it all through above the crease just to blow it all out and have some sort of starting transition shade if you will this is just a perfect little shade to blend out any warm shadows honestly it's just like look at it it's just essential it's just like is she wearing something or is she not wearing something? Like if you only did this all over the lid area and in the crease, like, see that? Perfection. Next I'm going to go in with arguably my favorite Makeup Geek shade of all time, and that is Creme Brulee here. I use this shade pretty much every single day actually. 
it's it's my go-to shade um, to do just in the crease and all over my lid for work because it is beautiful it looks cooler in the pan but it always pulls warm on me and it's just the like look at that Ugh, it's just so it is the perfect eyeshadow like if I ran out of all of my makeup and I had to restart this would be the first shade that I'd buy because this is the best eyeshadow in the world in my opinion and I use it constantly Like, look at that. I'm sorry. I can't do my makeup without creme brulee. It is my main bitch. My bottom bitch. Perfection. This is what I do for work pretty much every day because I don't have time to do my makeup before work, like a full look. So this is my go-to. It's those two shades. Sometimes Mirage on the lid if I'm feeling real spicy, but this is the gist of it. And then on the lower lash line, and that's, that's my go-to look every day. Okay, now I wanna go in with a little bit of this shade here, which is Desert Sands. This on the lower lash line, everything. Those tones are my favorite, and this one, I don't know if you can tell. I'll try to turn it to the side. Yeah, see how much pan I've used? See how deep that is? I, I love that shade. I'm just going to switch it to a more precise brush and get it directly into the crease. perfect. I have no idea what makeup look I'm doing. I'm just kind of letting the muses take me. That tends to be when my best looks come out anyway, to be honest with you. All right, now I'm going to go in with a clean but stained makeup brush, and I'm going to take the shade here, which is Coco Bear, and I'm going to darken this bitch up with that. This color is so pretty. Ready? Look at that. Oh my goodness. This is a staple. If you go back and watch when people used to make Makeup Geek videos, you'll see everyone use this because it's beautiful. They were relevant for a long time for a reason, but people just, you know, it's hard to keep up when there's so many new things coming out, but look at that. Okay, now I'm gonna go back to that brush that I used Desert Sands with, and I'm actually gonna take the shade here, which is Early Bird, and I'm going to blend a bit in the crease, get a little bit more orangeyness to it. Blend out Cocoa Bear. Yeah, that's what I wanted. And a little orange in the inner crease, too. Yes. So this is what we have going on right now. I love it. Okay, now I'm gonna go in with my favorite lid combo and it's going to be a combination of peach smoothie and I believe this is Mirage mixed together just a little bit like this. All over the lid. Okay, and to deepen it back up a little bit more, I'm gonna go in with the shade here which is Bitten. I wanna add some of that purpley red to this look. that yes okay and I can't believe I almost did an entire makeup geek look without using cherry cola like what the ass so I'm gonna take cherry cola which is the shade right here I'm gonna get more precisely to the lashes Okay, I think I'm have wait, I messed up.
Okay, I think I'm heavily vibing with the top of the lash line, so let's go in with the bottom and spice it up just a smidge, just a smidge. Okay, so first thing for the lower lash line, I'm gonna take a bunch of Tiki Hut on this big ol' pencil brush, and I'm gonna smudge the crap out of this on my lower lash line. This is my favorite way to wear the shade by far. Like, watch the shiz. I don't like any color better on my lower lash line than this shade. Look at that, like I don't even need to do anymore. I'm going to, but I don't need to because this color is perfect. I'm going to take a little more Cocoa Bear, this beautiful reddish brown here, and I'm going to use a smaller pencil brush and get that a little closer to the lashes. Is there anything better than like a super smoky lower lash line? The answer is no. If you answered anything but no, wait, we're just gonna have to agree to disagree because you're wrong. All right, now to tie in some of that dark red back into cherry cola and just hit these outermost edges. Woo. Huh. This color is dork, you gotta be careful. Lots of pigment, lots of pigment. Like look at that. I'm gonna take that tiki, tiki, tiki hut brush. Whoa, tongue twister. And I'm going to just, with no extra product, blend those together. Yes. Look at that. All right, for my inner corner highlight, I'm gonna take no other than Shimma Shimma. Such a pretty inner corner highlight. Just watch. I'm gonna take my trusty BH Cosmetics spot highlighter. Let me clean off my face highlighter because I used it on my face for that thing nose highlight and now we're gonna go into shimmer shim shimmer shimmer not shimmer shimmer with an a like that and are you ready watch this whoa whoa all right it's still shaking look at my life look at that did you see th 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 that was it that was it <laughs> that was it that was it look at that uh, okay i need to calm down because oh you can see me coming all right and to finish off these shadows i'm gonna take a smidgen of mirage this yellowy pale color and dust that under the brow bone just for a little song song right there i don't like to do shimmer there too much i do it sometimes but if you know me and you've been here for a significant amount of time you know matte eyeshadows are my favorite i like to do a fully matte look like this with just the shimmer on the inner corner i think it is stunning I put on why am I still doing this it's done okay this is the point where I really wish I could talk to you and like you could respond like I am talking to you but I wish you could respond to me because I don't know if I should do black on the waterline if I should do a wing you know I'm gonna keep it authentic to me and do no wing and nothing in the waterline except for maybe white if I can find a white I might throw that in the waterline but I'm gonna quickly go do some mascara maybe white in the out whoa, whoa, whoa maybe white in the waterline and i will be right back to finish off this video i am so frustrated right now guys so i just realized i may have had my mic not plugged in through this entire video i guess you'll know you might know uh so i'm not sure what i'm gonna do i'm not sure if i'm going to just have to do a voiceover over like my talking mouth which won't line up right or if i'm gonna have to try to edit the audio but if it's a little bit different up until this point, I'm so sorry. I just love how this look turned out and I don't, I don't wanna redo it. I think it looks pretty. So hopefully the audio in the video is not shit. <laughs> but anyways, this is the completed eye look. Um, I was gonna come back with lips on, but I'm debating between two lip shades. So I think I'm gonna throw them both on for you and give you options of what you could pair this with. So the first one I will show you now. Okay, so this is the first lip combo, which honestly is probably what I would pair this with because it's my favorite lip combo of all time. <laughs> it is the Wet n Wild Bare to Comet Lip Liner with the Tarte Sunkissed Lipstick, which this is my old one. As you can see, I've used all of it. I had to like dab and then like swipe. Uh, I brought a brand, brought a brand, brand, brand. I bought a brand new one and my dog ate it. I had a bunch of other lipsticks out, had my elf, had my cheaper stuff. 
have my less expensive makeup and what did he do he ate uh, my tart lipstick because he hates me and he wants to spite me and I, I give him nothing but love so I'm a bit insulted by that uh, like why couldn't he eat my cheap makeup so that I could easily repurchase it I don't want to spend another 20 something dollars damn dog shit but anyways this is lip combo number one which is probably what I'd pair it with because I mean come on isn't it perfect oh. but if you want something more vampy because this is a fall makeup tutorial let me show you the next one okay guys and this is lip combo number two which I'm actually really heavily feeling I haven't worn a dark lip in a while oh it looks really good with these eyes too and this is ColourPop lip liner in love bug and the matte x lippy stick in the shade ziggy so pretty I forgot these matte x lips lip sticks are so good so good I cannot wait for them to bring out the the matte x in a lug lugs lux lipstick bullet oh, I love the lux lipsticks if you haven't seen the video where I swatched them oh my god I will link it up there they are gorgeous and I want this formula in that bullet so I can have lots of gorgeous in a pretty package you feel me you feel me all right guys so that completes this video this is my fall makeup look using all makeup geek eyeshadows I'm so excited to have done this I'm so excited that makeup geek is getting the recognition they deserve again because they're so good and just because they're smaller and they don't want to pay crazy amounts of money to people to promote them doesn't mean we should stop talking about them because if the makeup is good the makeup is good people just I, I'm not even gonna I'm not even gonna get into a thing I just and you know what? I'm I'm guilty of it too not that I'm paid to do absolutely anything but you get hooked on whatever's new and what's coming out and then everybody t is telling you what's new and what's great and you buy that and you buy that and you forget about what you have and what is so good and already in your house in your collection you don't always have to run out to buy what's new and what's current to get something beautiful and I think that's important to remember so if you have makeup geek shadows go grab them recreate this look tag me in it on my social media which is right here if you do brighter scene is for makeup stuff fatter scene is for fitness stuff which I do fitness videos almost every day so if you want to watch that you can <laughs> do I list your fully teeth no and of course again don't forget to subscribe to my channel <laughs> And of course, don't forget to subscribe. It is free, and it helps me, you know. I don't know why you wouldn't want to help somebody just, just because, you know. It's just an act of kindness, one per day. This could be yours. And anyways, if you are still watching videos, as I suspect you are, why don't you click on one of these videos over here. These are links to videos I put up in the past. And if you click on my face over here, it'll take you to where you can subscribe so we can hang out all the time. Duh! And I think you should do it. I think it's a good idea. Yada, yada, yada. Okay, bye, guys. I really like how this turned out. Why can't I wake up looking like this every day? Why do I have to do so much work to be pretty? It's dumb. It's dumb is what it is. Rude. First off. <laughs> Hurtful. 